Hi everybody, I'm Nancy McNally and the other day I learned about origami hexagon. So look at this, isn't this absolutely adorable? So I watched a couple videos and the one that I found that I understood the most was in Spanish, but I couldn't understand the Spanish. All I needed was to watch her fingers and I figured it out. I was like, oh my gosh. So I bought this one tool to make the template, the hexagon, and it turns out I have the actual hexagon. Now, if you want to order this one, this is the large one. It's number 55438, and this works perfect. So what I did this morning was I took a fat quarter, folded it in half, and folded it in half again, and sent it through my go, and guess what? I got four of these. So now I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's get this totally out of the way so we can work. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is you need to trim off all the little tips okay so just use your rotary blade or your scissors and take care of those and take those off so now place one of the points at you you're gonna fold it in half right side down wrong side up I'm gonna take fold it and finger crease you're gonna do this all the way around so take it now and turn it so you have the next tip at your belly if you will again fold and finger press open it back up turn and do one more and that's it all right so I'm gonna move this one out of the way because I've got another one already threaded so now you're gonna need to get needle and thread let me pull this one over I'm using orange thread so you can see I hope you can see it so what you do now I've already done this not your thread you're going to take your needle and put it through the back, bring it through the front, right in the center. Okay? Once you do that, you bring your needle over here and you're going to take it right through that first fold. So you're going to take it from the outside, use your finger as leverage if you can, and you put that through and then you bring it over. Keep your needle, or excuse me, keep your thread on top of the, the hexagon. Do the same thing in the next fold. Skip the points. Don't do the points. Go to the next fold. Now I'm going to do the next one. So I rotate it. Here's my fold. I'm going to put my finger right here. You go in about an eighth of an inch and bring it up. Now if your thread jumps to the back, just bring it over. All right? You don't have to do it really tight because this is really, you're going to gather this in just a second. Rotate it again. Pass your point. Don't put the needle through the point. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. Here's my fold. I'm going to use my finger. Pick it up. Go in about an eighth of an inch from the back side to the front. Okay. We're going to rotate it. Here's my next fold. Now see, it's already starting to cup over or roll over. Do the same thing. Keep that thread on top. Now, I've got one last one. Let me give myself a little more tail. There we go. Now, do not go back to the first one. Now, we're going to pull it just like you're going to gather. So hold your thread needle in your hand and then just pull. And it comes out like a big mess, just like that. And it's supposed to do that. So now, I'm going to go to my white one. I'm going to put this one aside. I hope you can see the white one. Here we go. Now I'm using white with green thread. And what you do, once you get to this point, like I said, it looks like a hot mess. <laughs> you're going to align all of these. So you're going, to, you're going to go in here, pick up each one of these little wings. There should be six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, we did right. And you're going to align. Can you see how I did that? I just fingered, made them come to the nice point. Just finger them. Do each one like that. So that you can, um, so you have your points. Because these are your petals right here. And I got my thread stitched or put over in my pin cushion. So let me just get these all lined up. Okay. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna lay these down just like this so that they're out of my way. 
If you need to pin them, go right ahead. Look, isn't that neat? So we're going to take the first one. I'm going to use this one. Let me move this one over here. I'm just going to use one of these pins just to get it out of my way so you can see. I'm going to pin all these quickly so that they're not in the way. And what I do with the first one, you're going to do to all of them. So once I get to the first one done, we're going to stop and then we'll come right back. Okay, so now you take the first one and you open it up with your fingers. Keep a nice little point down here at the base, down here, okay, the outside of the hexagon. Put your tip right in the middle. Just finger these. That's all you got to do. Just finger them. It's not a big deal. I give them a little press. Take your needle. Now this is just a tool at this point in time. You're not going to sew anything. Use it to pick up that tip that you just aligned in the middle. Bring it all the way back. And now what I do, can you see I've got my finger right here? I use that as um, kind of like a, a leverage just to hold that in place. You pull this tip back and you bring it all the way to the outer edge. Get your fingers in there, align them up, and then press it nice and flat. Okay, now I'm going to try to hold this up so you can see it. I'm going to put the pin in, try to secure the pin in there so it doesn't come out. I'm going to hold this up. There you go. You see how the two sides come together? The pin is way out here right out here in the tip. All right, now what I like to do is I like to grab another pin, put it right there in that middle. You can actually see your, your previous fold marks. So you put the pin right there, release this one, your sewing needle, and just pull this down to the middle. And that's all it is. Take this out. Now you're gonna take, if you can pick up your sewing needle, there we go. And you're going to sew right here. And if any of it comes out, which mine just kind of unfolded a little bit, it's okay. Just maneuver it with your sewing, your needle and thread. Now we're going, to, I'm going to pick this up so I can put the needle down in so I can secure it in place. Uh-oh. Yeah, I got to move that out. There we go. Okay, one more time. There we go. And look at the thread, it knotted up on me. One more time. Oh, I see what that is. That's just the tail. There we go. Okay. So now I'm gonna go and do the other five, and so I'll be back in just a minute. All right, so we're gonna pause and I'll be back. I went ahead and finished the rest of them. So as you can see, you probably the green thread in here, it looks kind of messy, but what you wanna do is you wanna put a little button or maybe like a rosette button, something in there to decorate it. So I'm going to grab a little button and you can just sew a button right in the middle of it. And that's what I did to the original one, the first one I made. How's that? Isn't that adorable? It really is very simple. Just remember to use your needle as a tool, pull that center tip all the way back to the outer edge, secure it, fold, and fold it back to the middle. Alrighty? I hope everybody understood. I hope you have a great day. Bye. I